Early day, early summer, liquid sunlight soaking the city, and crepe myrtle trees bring back their pink and purple blooms. How can it happen again, again? Earth spins and dawn unwraps the night world as if to say, show me a story. And the eyes blink and the hearts turn over. Something like engines, maybe like clocks. And not only in beds, but in branches. The chickadees, the quick squirrels, the katydids. And underground, the ants, the million million hum that one note that makes the grass roots giggle. And what about this chronic itch, this brimming sky that asks everything to come on? The emerald moss, the millipedes, the old oaks holding their ground. Even shade glides like a cool animal, while people smolder secretly as if self were a sort of fever our heads rising as if we might sail. Monday, Monday, then Monday, a month of days, a month like a cricket in your hand, then gone. I can't understand time, how it makes us and makes us disappear. I keep turning back to memory. My life, 56 years spent my job, a dead parrot on my shoulder, bills flocking like flies to the corpse. What can anybody do? Time running like ants all over the afternoon. And where are they going with so many legs? As if it made sense to live in a frenzy. As if their legs had a life of their own and the little things were getting carried away their pepper speck eyes, reading one version of what daylight brings, trouble and his magic hat, what night almost hides, the homeless brother, his missing teeth, a trail of crumbs to the Starbucks parking lot. Back in the day, I played guitar, he grins, some glint of good music glossing his face, my shades muffle the glare, me with my paper money, him with his hand open, like the door to a house already burning, or waiting to burn, ready to burn for both of us, the dollar bills, a book of matches. And I see what passes for kindness may not be kind, but some kind of clumsy apology for the monster that mouths them that got shall get the Moloch that eats every woman, every man, some bitten in the womb, some later, some so gently they don't even feel themselves slip slide into the throat. And we all try to dance to this, the prevailing sound mistaken for music, the humpty hump crunked up bump, bumping hip hop could be the cry of a country going under for the third time. Everybody put your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. Cells and phones, Twitters, tweets, charged and recharged, telling, telling each other what as the big teeth close around us. When I was a boy, I would get up early and go outside Summer coming on like the smell of cinnamon toast. A little dude, shod in sneaks, primed in shorts. My voice, a piccolo. I remember the red ants on first patrol, strolling up my shins with a bold nonchalance, giving me that cool once over. I could hear them muttering all they had to do before dusk something like discontent twitching a few antenna. Why am I out here with six legs and no pants? <laughs> I could live for a year on three strawberries. Fuck the colony. <laughs> Even then, 
Even then, my mind threw itself toward what nobody said, my new brain filling like a blister, the ruckus inside me, a carnival come to town. Early summer, Saturday, free time soaks the city, and this slow-walking woman, the rich potion of well-made hips, the accent of such motion slightly muted beneath her black shorts, and of course, I hear my blood getting dressed. First swerve of self towards a better orbit, heat lightning on the heart's coast the sexual chance, the great maybe, and what about the brave shock of first touch, the sumptuous crush of a kiss, the groove communion, thigh, studying thigh, so much of this displaced by jobs, by septic religion, ghost dick capitalism, television, the anytime friend, bright star with make-believe light, the come hither and scold of this colony called America. I look at Facebook, the hopeful eyes peeping from the cyber window, the need to be seen, known. I look at people in bars, beer and nachos, cooked beef appearing, then gone. Young men, young women, the unconscious ooze of such beauty, and flies landing unnoticed, planning a future. War, wars like hit songs, the torn skin of the daily scrum, cars restless at red lights, millipede pedestrians, kill zones, the big buildings, boxes full of work to be done, bosses, drones, busy. The word repeated until it becomes a city itself. Everyone zigging to the zag. Blue collars rub the sore machines. Executives graph the goods, call the shoppers who catch the scent with their long snouts. I see the brown faces, hard masks trying not to look surprised by the undeclared siege. The mainstream deftly sicking its dogs, sending the guns, locking the doors, night flaring her cloak, the moon bitten, never whole again. I think about children, how they smile when we smile, how we agree not to say what we know, not to know what we know about growing up. The calendar's gone bad, weeks dashed to chalk, children, children squeezed, their big heads scored in the vice, gnawed to the cob like the rest of us. And all that's left of me now is my want for that woman who walks a baseline so slow, even her shadow wants to holler. She doesn't know how sincerely I would praise the caramel chocolate sea salt of her secret body. How well I would forget the churches and mosques, the synagogues, the come along schools. Give me the pagan cathedral of a woman's cunt. The dawn of her mouth meshed with mine. The good goddess giddy in her eyes. The blood in harmony. What time? What drink so smooth? What justice better than the justice lovers do? Once, once, and once upon a time, they tell me I was born, but I can't remember the muscular push, the hands, the clanging light. According to my mother, it was August, and I cried loud and loud. Wish I knew where they were, that class of 1955 the nursery choir that had me burbling a solo. Hour after hour, all of us blind, our little lungs changing the air. I look back. I look back at myself looking back. But the fact is, one morning I was found on earth and strangers learned me their ways. This noise they call speech and how to act. Right now, I am behaving myself. Check out the baby goat 
gumming my brow, the normal shirt, pants zipped, the mischievous eel pinned down. I keep trying to behave. Act like you have some sense, my father says. <laughs> Easier said than done, I say. It's all I can do to keep from pissing on tree trunks and storefronts, marking my turf like a two-legged tomcat, scratching this life as if I belong. I spend a lot of time being polite, but some people should have the shit slapped out of them. And not only, pre <laughs> and not only presidents and priests, born-agains and racist pricks, but everyday people like me like me, who dress up for the status quo, buy the beast a burger, then get a half-hearted dry hump and a Frenchless kiss in return, fingering receipts, checking my watch, when I should soak my heart in kerosene, strike my head like a match. How many seasons have I nixed for my job? How much craving tased in my trousers? While all summer, America, becomes the land of tiny shorts. Such visibility. Oh me, oh my, as if I had never before, as if every photon had flown to teach me light. The swarm swarming even now. What can I do? My life, my life eats my life. Already 56 years gone, and some of my friends gone to ground, or gone gaga for God, which is worse, the, volunt the voluntary blindness to chew the same verses over and over with the grim donkey, as if the earth was not a hummingbird, as if staying awake wasn't scripture enough. Woke up in my wrecked apartment, a stack of bills, piles of books, fucked up floors, stuffed up nose, couldn't talk myself out of bed. My coffled heart, my face stained and washed again, again, until I look like a man trying to look like a man. But I'm here, here, this minute, finding myself snared in the threads. Have you ever seen that? A bug moving, then the sticky tug of what had been invisible, the mean realization, the sudden, uh-oh, knowing exactly what's what, death, its busy legs closing in to tie you up. When I was a boy, I threw ants into webs and watched. Didn't know it was a preview of my life, believing Believing what I saw, what I'd been told to see, and everywhere the slaughterhouses wearing their golden arches. The soldiers declared necessary, the mantra, pay more and save, the matrix, the tortured script, disguised as fun, disguised as your career, disguised as a brand new car as credit, as marriage, as the nuclear family, as Christmas, as a day off so you can catch up. The outcome already unmistakable. This is why the mad go mad, why the riots and revolutions come back. This story, this, this tall tale of brighter whites and bigger blacks, them prisons for profit, that football fantasy, this corporate democracy, these smartphone cronies, us busy monkeys, us monkeys in chains, all them monkeys on TV. This story is not our story. To live for that green, to be all about dollar bills, is to be chummed and gaffed, is to wake up with a barcode for a face. To know dawn as a soldier sent by the clocks, a prod, a shove, a hangman petting the scaffold. Dawn, I knew it once. Peach light, new sky, liquid summer swimming the breeze the way her mouth brushes your ear. Dawn's kiss on the thigh of my soul. 
my eyes, two loons, twin musketeers, ten orgasms, twice kings, revoking the governments and their armies, rescinding the weekdays and the legions, dying for coffee, dying inch by inch in the quicksand, in the getting to work. Suppose just once you saw a middle-aged maniac skating telephone wires like a squirrel, or one glad woman jumping balconies and boulevards as if time were a trampoline. Think how gladly you would lose your mind. Look what the takers have taken and the monsters they have made, the tame zombie playmates they have made of us, smiling bobbing for the job, trotting along when we might be trolls under their bridges, billy goats butting their smug asses, we, when we might rewrite the world. What is that restlessness? What is this rage? Proof that the rose still burns in your blood root and branch, thorn and bloom, proof that your brain is a bucking horse, that your soul remembers and bites the leash. I want such teeth in my mouth. Why can't we have a world worthy of the wheeling sun? The earth is a house that flies. Fuck all the powers that be. I remember my parents, my mother, trilling her soprano, my serious father and his black fists, how they kept on despite the heavy sleet strafing their lives. They should be famous for getting dressed the morning after Martin Luther King was killed. I was 13, puberty coming on like a seizure. I went to the kitchen, my cereal sat there, sugar snowing on the brown flakes, my mother tilting the spoon. My father with his Cherokee eyes, cup rising to his lips, getting ready for the day, getting ready no matter what, doing the had to be done. I can't recall what they said, but they were calm. My brother stabbed his eggs. There would be riots at Germantown High School, and my parents went to work surrounded by white people who measured their words. I sit here with these pencils, meaning to make some sign, some song, something like the love I've been given. I feel the pulse pecking at my wrists, but I don't know. I don't know. Early sunlight, broken summer, buttery day of the dawn brims over. Crepe myrtles and cars, the city birds call to each other, all the people simmering 98.6 degrees. This blood shuffled with history, the DNA whispering, persist, persist. Every heart a political prisoner, every one of us force-fed some version of what the daytime brings, what the midnight hides. Already, death sketches my face, my beard drawn gray. Century after century, death opens his scabby arms, while rise upon rise, little kids rush the land, tasting the details, meaning to take it all back, believing themselves the first, the smartest, the true. Back in the day, I was a child, and everything was a soft cookie. But the members of the Klan were babies once, and the officers of the Third Reich, too, and the killers called Janjaweed, and Dick Cheney, and his puppet, the Idiot, <laughs> and Tojo, and, and the Taliban, and Assad, and Mugabe, and everyone who swung a blade in Rwanda, and the rapists running the rape camps, and the chemists who chemmed napalm, and the Khmer Rouge, and all the slave masters with their busy cocks, and every gun gaming cop, and the man who shot Mahatma Gandhi, everyone a child once, coming from the rainforest warmth of a woman's womb, everyone taught the amnesia, like me. I was the goofy boy, pressed into knickers and knee socks. My mother tucked a napkin under my chin, made gingerbread with black strap molasses, read me the billy goat's gruff. Little, little black sambo, 
a child's garden of verses, how I grew beneath the sky of her voice, how ready to run, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a doggy by the toe, if he hollers, let him go. I hid and chased, flew and fell, was wings and no bird, my legs spinning as if they had a life of their own. I spend adulthood trying to blend in, trying not to be the stranger who's become strange, trying not to be it, that lost brother in the parking lot trying to sing, smelling like moldy piss and dead dog, with no lovers or friends, with no place to sleep, though sleep has become harder and harder to find. Oh, friends. The sun comes back again, again, only to find us strumming our dim teeth, filling our pants, nuzzling death's dusty neck, while the ants, the trillion, trillion, hum just beneath us. Do you think they think we know something? I've held a few, felt the ready bite of those tiny jaws. Imagine your own self grabbed by something 10,000 times your size and deciding to bite it. <laughs> to be in the clutch of a monster and still sink your whole life into one stupefying chomp, meaning, get off me, goddammit. <laughs> Isn't that what courage is for? to lay claim to your life, to roam beyond the grasp, beyond the rule of whoever means to use you as fuel for bad machinery. Break open your eyes, the night, without being asked, with no vote and no compromise, backs off for the sun. The days are more than we say they are. Dawn gives birth to them all, names none. The minutes riot. Time flames in every direction. Let's get out of this. Let's get out of this stupor called a normal day. This dumb farm called country. The heart starves with the feast nearby and we swallow the words of a story nobody wants to tell. But why? Why be practical when the hour rips her gown, kicks down your door and wraps her big legs around you? Why pretend you don't know what I mean? Yesterday, after thrashing a tasty cake crimpet, I saw an ant stealing a crumb way, way bigger than possible. I was downtown. Chevys flexed their engines, pedestrians pushed on, sandals, high heels, sneaks, business kicks, some mouths smoking, some spending talk through, an, through a small box trying for the ear of someone invisible, someone who makes the daily knock hurt less. I believe it is hard to be human, to be these new animals, hard to say yes to this singular blood and to the flying world that made us. Who keeps conjuring the distractions? Who? What are the words that gnaw on the soul? Our heads smolder and blaze, slow light gaining the streets. Maybe now, maybe now it is time to be born. Early day, open summer, a slight breeze over the sleepers, our tired legs on edge. We circle the sun in so many ways this earth and all the other planets holding their own. Thank you very much. Thank you.